want to look at today is actually adding a work axis on a feature that is on a bent part. As you can see, these features were actually created on the flat and then folded up. So to create these, we can't just put a work axis on that hole. It's not going to create it. So what we have to do is we need to use the center point of loop of edges with the chain select option. So that way we create a work axis on the front and back face. And then we'll use these to create a work axis. And we can also do this on non-circles as well. So that way we get a work axis in the middle of our feature here that runs down the center of our part. Now just to show you, I throw the work axis there. And if I create a view here so we can see it. If we show our work features, if I extend these out, you can see that they do run through the center of that. So hopefully this will help out, and thank you for your time.